All right, this was the Honda that had contaminated different refrigerant in there. They had 134 in here instead of YF. So I've had it on the vacuum pump for the last 45 minutes. I'm down to 140 some microns. So now I'm gonna run nitrogen through it three times, flush it, put it under the vacuum, because what I wanna do, I wanna take out any trace residue of leftover R134 out of the system. So when I put my brand new clean, fresh gas in the system, it doesn't get contaminated. So let's uh, a little pressure there. And as you see, it went up there, goes down there. I just want to bring it to zero. There we go, 1.6 PSI both sides. Now I'm shutting the high side and I'm gonna recover on the low side. I sweep through. So here it goes, we're opening the low side and now I'm gonna open up the vacuum on the high, on the low side. So now I'm sucking it from the low side and it's having to take that gas and any minute amount of R134 left in the oil and gas is being swept out. And then I'll just repeat this three times real quickly. We'll get it down to the micron ridge and I'll show you how fast this goes. But I do not want to contaminate my supply of refrigerant, even though I know this has a leaky front shaft seal. There's a little oil spot on this Honda condenser for possible leak. Okay, so we're into the microns. So now I'm gonna close the low side. I'm gonna close the vacuum and I'm gonna open the high side there. There we go, a little pressure. And we just did it again. You see how fast that was? We're positive pressure, that's all I wanna see. It just want zero is perfect right there. Now open the low side, you see that the high side's closed. Open the vacuum, repeat this three times. And I know I did a fairly good job of going all the way down to the parts per million of removing the R134 refrigerant that somebody stuck into this YF refrigerant system. Because for me to do my correct diagnosis, I am now going to charge the system to its full spec with 134 to prove that the expansion valve is operating properly, the compressor is operating properly. Once I see that, then I give my full diagnosis about the leaky uh, shaft seal on the compressor, leaky condenser, and anything else if I find anything else after this. And you go, what a waste of time that is. That's so many procedures. And say, yeah, but you wanna make sure you're thorough, you do it once, you do it right, and you have no questions that nothing was done wrong, and you're recovering the gas out. And that's why this business is so expensive. If you want it done right, do it right once, the first time. If you wanna get a guess, go somewhere else. All right, I'll see you.